In this video, you will learn how to manipulate string variables. You should already be familiar with declaring string variables in Python. We've already seen that we can store strings of text inside variables, which we can later access by using the variable's name. For instance, I could store a greeting in a variable called hello. Then to print my greeting to the terminal, I simply type print hello and hit enter. Easy enough, but we can do a lot more with strings. Let's try the following. This reads as print hello at index 4. The index can be thought of as a position in the string, but we must always start our counting from zero. That is, the index for the first few letters is as follows. So hello at index 4 prints the letter F. Likewise, hello at index 0 prints H, and hello at index 3 prints space, which is obviously hard to see. You can also use indices to count backwards down a string. Hello at index minus 1 will give you the last character. In this case, a question mark. Hello at index minus 2 will give you the letter U, the second last character in the string, and so on. We can also print sections of a variable using two indices separated by a colon. These are known as substrings, as they are pieces of larger strings. This says to print the substring that starts at index 0 and goes up to, but not including, the character at index 7. So I've printed hey fry. Here's another example. 4 represents f and 10 represents the comma, so my substring is friend. You can also leave out the first index if you want to start from the beginning. Here we have the beginning all the way to, but not including the space. Or you could leave out the second index if you want to go all the way to the end. Here we're starting at f and going to the end of the string. Another useful thing to be able to do is find the length of a string. That is, how many characters are in that string. You can do this very easily with the length method. Simply type len followed by the name of the string inside a pair of round brackets. We read this as the length of the string hello. Of course, you can check if this is true by counting each character in the variable hello. Just don't forget to count the spaces. One last thing you can do with strings, you can use the plus sign to add strings together. For instance, the string on the left prints hello from the first character up to but not including the last character, so the question mark is not included. Then we add to this space bob. This is actually called string concatenation, as we're not adding quantities in the mathematical sense, but rather placing two strings together to make one longer string. Hitting enter, we see that we get the desired string. Everything that we've talked about in this video deals with manipulating strings, but you'll find that all of this can be applied to manipulating lists, which are a hugely useful tool in programming. 